All right, guys, we made it back from New York, and we all know, I don't know, you may know how the tournament ended up, may not, but do me a, do me a solid. Slide to the link below, guggensquad.com. They got really good apparel sales going on, and it has all of my setups, baits, hooks, even uh, the drop shot weights. Everything about this tournament is in the link below. Use code DING for 10%. Y'all do me a solid. Support the brands that support us and keep us out here. We really appreciate you. Back to the video. I mean, realistically, I need like 20, 25 pounds. But I want to do that without hitting any of my stuff. Just run this stuff. It's going to be like practice where I'm going to go like two hours without a bite. Yeah. And I'll get a couple bites. You'll be good. Yeah, we'll be all right. I mean, hell, no. worst case scenario, if you're down like 10 pounds the last period, just go bust some. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. I ain't worried about it. Just keep this in mind. Everyone you catch today may not be there on Wednesday when you need it. Oh. It's hard not to jack them. Oh, it's hard. We let real in. Yeah. My first drop this morning is going to be on a dragon drop, baby. Look right here. Oh, man. My screen's fogging up. The humidity got it. You see it? Look see on the it. look on the screen. You see that? It's a little foggy. It's very foggy. Oh, I'm gonna bomb one on that this morning. Let's freaking go. It's gonna be a good damn day. Come on. Oh. Well, let's talk about it. I forgot my cell phone at the house. Unbelievable. So we're heading back now. That was a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Great way to start the morning. A little bit of heartburn. Leave your cell phone. Let's go bass fishing. All right, guys, here we are. Day two, Cayuga Lake. I call it Cayuga, but whatever you want to pronounce it. Um, I'm already in the cut. Turn right onto Chapel Hopefully, um, you know these guys. This place is incredible. They may catch and they may whack them today. You know who knows? But um, oh, I need to go practice. I need to find something for the long run in this tournament. In like, a quarter mile, turn left. Okay. Thursday is the day that really matters. Uh, Wednesday is the knockout round. Today is a Monday. So this is my day two. I have to make championship round this tournament. And today is probably the day this is going to happen. I have to find the right areas. I have to look at the wind. All that. And uh, so we're going to play it smart today. We're not going to just sit here and wear them out. We're gonna catch some though, y'all stay tuned. It's gonna be a fun day. We're gonna practice and uh, we're gonna get it in. Oh, GC. Hey, buddy. Coming out. You need snacks. You need snacks. Good. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Hey, I am super excited. Better get out here and go bass fishing again. Yesterday, Michael Neal ended up on top of the score track. Oh, I forgot my phone. Oh, you, you don't have this opportunity very often. You got to take advantage of it. There ain't many guys that get to practice today. Hand the camera back behind James Elam and Fred from Bass. Round 10 ounces. With 16 scoreable bass rolling down to the uh, Toro cut line right, for our group B anglers. Here, you gotta come one way or the other. And that ended up with Bobby Lane. <laughs> it's 36 pounds.
two, one. Lines in, begin period one. at all. update Dustin with that scoreable at 413 you remain in third position with now a total of 93 pounds two ounces now Jacob Wheeler has now placed five scoreable on the board Jacob's up to 13 pounds six ounces on the day he's five pounds 12 ounces now behind Justin Lucas who has not scored you currently are 33 pounds 15 ounces behind Justin Lucas. 33 pounds? 15 ounces, yes. 33 pounds, 15 ounces off the lead. a new place I've not fished at all. Check it. Showing up right there. All I'm trying to do is just run new water today. I think that's the smartest option for me. You know it's, it's one of those deals I love reeling them in. I just could not not set the hook on that one. I mean that's just if she's willing to buy it, I'm, I, I got I to gotta reel her in just a little bit. But practice today for me is key. I mean, I, I got to make really good use of my time. And I'm just going to run all this new new places. I mean, I'm not running anything that I've been to at all. And uh, just see what happens. Here in a little bit, I'm just going to put a, like a hitchhiker on and not set the hook. And just mark as much stuff as I can. You know, it's cool to try to catch a big bag and all that, but what really matters is is Thursday. The man on top of Thursday. So we're gonna be smart today. We're gonna idle, pitch around this drag and drop. I mean, honestly though, there are giants in here. They caught a state record in here. I think it was. Was it a nine pounder? 
I think it was eight pound, 14 ounces or something. Do you know how sick I would be if I shook off a state record? You know what I mean? Like I'm sitting there thinking any one of these bites could be a nine pound smallmouth. Where else in the world can you catch a nine pound smallmouth on this lake? Cause it happened this year. So Dustin, score tracker update. With those two scoreable this morning, you've got nine pounds, six ounces all in the day with 97 pounds, 11 ounces. Now you're still 39 pounds, seven ounces behind Justin Lucas, and Justin is eight pounds, six ounces ahead of Jacob Wheeler. You are 50 pounds ahead of the guy in 20. Oh, good. How far away am I from 100 pounds? Dustin, <coughs> you need two pounds, five ounces. Pounds. Score tracker update. Jacob Wheeler has just placed a four pound, one ounce scoreable on. He's now gone 14 ounces ahead of Justin Lucas. Oh. Wow, boy. He put, <laughs> he put two scoreables on the board within a minute of each other. A four pound one ounce and a two pound three ounce. It brought that six pound deficit down. Now he leads by 14 ounces. Jacob Wheeler just placed a two pound 10 ounce scoreboard. He now leads Justin Lucas by three pounds eight ounces. Four, three, two, one. Lines out in the period one. All right, that was a good period. I'm gonna let them boys burn them up. That's what we're gonna do. That's gonna be a shootout. Cause I'm telling you right now, Jacob is not letting off. He ain't gonna get got. No. Hey, I enjoyed it. We did our job. We caught a couple fish. Good job. Yes, oh, sir. Good caught a couple Turn tanks. 413. Power job. Oh, Didn't burn yeah. no fish. It was I good. Mean, just don't wrap. fish, but they were good ones. Yeah, they were tanks. <clears throat> I just, feel good about it. You just stay in the, in the top five. That's what we I should be miss. back in your boat. I'd love to ride this thing all the way till the end with you. That's what I'm trying to do. I'd like to just keep the camera in the boat. Good. Am I in third place still? Yep. I'll catch enough keeping the top five. All right. We'll see y'all. All right. Gentlemen. We'll see y'all later, bro. Steve. We'll see y'all later. Thank you. Enjoy it. Steve. I'll call Steve a gentleman. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. I didn't even plan on fishing this anyway. I said, might well, might well pop one.
411, 413, 410. Four pounds, ten ounces. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Four ten. <laughs> Freaking giants, dude. That's unbelievable. All right, well we broke a hunter. We're done. <clears throat> See, that was just literally just one swimming. That ain't gonna hurt no. I didn't plan on fishing this anyway. I wouldn't even want to drop on it, but it's pretty badass. They are on it. Two more four pounders, and you have 22 pounds and five fish. All smallmouth. If you're up to 102 pounds, five ounces, you're back to fourth place. Green fish. This place has got him, dude. He just sitting out here in the middle of dag of nowhere. That yeah, gives you your fourth scoreboard. You got 16 pounds 14 on the day, 105 pounds three ounces on the event. What place in You're in fourth place. You're one scoreable behind Zach Burge in third. cranking a little bit. Figure we get on a little large mouth bag, baby. Hey, that was too bite. Crypto Dustin, that fifth fish on the day, you now have five fish scorable for 21 pounds, three ounces. You're up in third position. Now three pounds, three ounces in front of fourth place. And eight pounds, four ounces in front of fifth position. Four, three, two, one. Lines out. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. See ya. Now, them old boys, they've been respectful. I'll give it to them. They just been running around following their favorites and not even wet and hook. Close to us, it ain't care. I mean, no sooner I 
that counts at the end of the day. Yeah. Old boy with the three boat legs of the way. The guy in the back just run off and did a big fat cannonball. Uh, he just let out. I don't know if he was keeping up with us or not. But I'm glad he did it after the lines were out. <laughs> yeah, really. Still kind of torn between going for largemouth and smallmouth. I would love to find a group of largemouth, but the majority of the largemouth stuff is up the lake up here. And there's boats sitting on a lot of stuff, so I don't know. I mean, I'm just out here looking. I might I may go out for some smallmouth stuff here in a little bit, but I don't know. It's going to be a This place has got giants. <laughs> this place has got giants, dude. <laughs> That's five. Dustin should go five pounds, three ounces. <laughs> five, <laughs> three, dude. <laughs> oh, I love this stuff. Oh, I love, I love smallmouth fishing on this lake. It's so freaking good, dude. <laughs> You're now in fourth position, Dustin. It's unreal how good it is. I think it's setting hook. I, I wouldn't even go fish this. I don't know. Four 
pounds zero ounce. Four pounder. I'm trying to stay with a camera for you guys. Here in fourth place still, but Zach Burge put a couple more on the board. He's up to 45 pounds, seven ounces on a day. There they come. A hundred percent bite right here. A hundred percent bite. He got it. Right now. He got it. Good deal. Hopefully. Do or don't have a camera. It don't require me. Man, Kai, you can unbelievable. It. This place is, is, is unreal. I, I, it's one of the best fisheries I've ever been to. So we get back after it in the knockout round and uh, hopefully the championship round. I'm looking forward to it. Everybody be like that. Okay. Right here. Uh. Alright. Right. I got do one more little deal and then we're gonna roll. Places. Nobody told it. you again, did they? Look, look, look. Oh, I just that, wiped it out. I wiped it out. But you, but you did. It's all in my ear. I don't even care. I, at least I ain't getting melanoma. <laughs> all right. So let's journey on. I'm tired. Oh. Uh, you see how big this chick was? Well, I was big, I saw you throw one like a five something. Hey, I had purple. Goodies. Some goody two shoes. Biggie, biggies. Biggie smalls. Biggie, biggie smalls. All small mouth. No, I caught. I mean, I cranked up two long. Caught you a couple large mouth. Look at you, come see. They were locked up on my Bruh, is that not the best feeling? Yeah. Bruh, hey, look, first it goes slack for a second. And then, oh. All right, guys, it's going to wrap up day two video. So I did a lot of practicing. I did a little bit of catching. I probably shouldn't have, but I did. it's hard for me not to just pitch in there. And if they're going to go down on it, I'm like, just go ahead and eat it. <sighs> Caught a couple on the dragon drop. Kind of a goby color right there and uh i don't know man this is gonna be an interesting tournament so i got knockout round tomorrow and um i'm out here just rigging rods right now we actually just got back from filming another video on that lake right back there so we're staying on this lake and figure we'll get out here and catch a few pretty cool little lake though it's fun so y'all be on the lookout for that but knockout round is next that is tomorrow and uh, I'm looking really looking forward to it. I've got a bunch of spin rods on deck. I'm in here tying leaders up, trying to figure out what line size I want, rigging some baits, trying to get some hooks going. So yeah, that's that's the agenda right now. So knockout round is next. We have to make the top eight. I feel really good about it, but I, this is bass fishing. I've been here before. It does not matter how good you feel. You have to go out there and commit you have to go out there and and execute so you never know go out there and have the bites they may come off you may get may have a hundred pound day just gonna have to stay focused and work hard tomorrow but appreciate you guys tuning in uh one little side comment there's kind of a mind game in fishing would you say so mark there, like today you did the same thing for you so mark he made the knockout round and you got to practice a little bit and get kind of methodical with it that one I'm talking about. Hey, you might well close it on that. Good grief. <laughs> that's all. That's a man bite. Hey. 
That ain't your average kid bite. Uh uh, that's a man bite. Well, I bet that. You love cantaloupe. I do. I hate cantaloupe. How you hate cantaloupe, bro? Cantaloupe's nasty. It How just smells. What? Yeah. Well, well, I bet you like honeydew melon. All, all of them. All that shit. What, what, what's the other ones? Uh, a kiss melon, honeydew melon, watermelon. I like all the melons, bro. Melons is hard, go hard. You like mangoes, too. Mango. I like all fruit, bro. There ain't a fruit I don't like. That's a, that is not a fruit. That's a vegetable. Hey, you have to close the video out on that. Time out. So you tell me people that who have a field out there, they're growing fruits, not vegetables. Let me tell you what the difference is. Batten's got seeds. There you go. And what are seeds? Look, seeds. If the if the plant bears reproductive parts, seeds. It's a fruit. No, it's a fruit. Peep that. Think about that. That ain't correct. That's a hundred percent not correct. Wow. Is okay. A, is a cucumber? A cucumber. What is a cucumber? A million percent of fruit. All right, then what's a vegetable? A green bean? No. He got seeds? I ain't sure. He might be. No, he might. He a fruit. A green I bean ain't a fruit. no way a green bean is a fruit. A hundred percent fact. Y'all yeah. comment below. We Look. sound like a bunch of idiots. What would you call this? Like vegetableology or something? I don't know. Some good ass fruit. I don't know what I'm talking about. Orange meat. It's like salmon. So green beans. Hey, in my mind, green beans are not a fruit. That's a veggie. It might be a legume. Alright, y'all figure it out for us. We don't know. I ain't got time to check. We got Rick's and Rods up, baby. Knockout rounds next. We'll see you.